Hey, what's good? Mark Brooks here with Black Vision Baseball. How do you train baseball in virtual reality? This is going to be a quick breakdown tutorial of the Applied Vision Baseball VR platform where you can learn to combine the non-VR vision training and Applied Vision Baseball to actual VR baseball simulation. This tutorial is going to give you a brief overview of all of the VR pitch recognition training drills so you can look less like this guy and more like this guy. First, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss another beat. There is no better feeling in the world than hitting a baseball so right on the screws that you didn't even feel it come off the bat. It's a feeling that we as hitters chase our entire career. If we're truly competitors, we're truly gamers, we have to admit we're addicted to that feeling. We all know that if we can hit, we'll play. And we all know that in order to get better, you have to collect reps. Enter Applied Vision Baseball. VR. Now you can take your bats at home and simulate plate appearances at game speeds in a controlled environment so that you can rehearse success over and over and over again. You can train in both animated environments as well as real environments with access to new drills updated each quarter. So let's start from the beginning where you can download it. You can go to AppliedVisionBaseball.com, choose a plan, get your logins, and you're all set. Easy peasy. You'll have immediate access to all the monthly bonus features and goodies and exclusive deals as an Applied Vision Baseball member. Next, you can download the non-VR app for vision training as well as the VR app for the baseball VR training features. Both are available for download in the Apple Store. Next, you can purchase your VR headset at the Applied Vision Baseball store at shop.appliedvisionbaseball.com as well as a VR Bluetooth remote. You don't need the remote to do most of the VR drills except for the swing trigger drill. More on that later. Once you have your subscription, your headset, and a secured safe area to put your headset on, you can log into your VR app, and here you'll see the VR dashboard. From here, you can choose to simulate live at bats in VR in a real environment or animated environment. Once you've chosen your environment, you can slide on your phone into your headset and strap the headset on your noggin. Make sure the straps are nice and snug and not too loose. Personally, I like to have the lens settings as close to my eyes as possible. I like my straps as tight as possible over the top of my head and fairly tight on the sides. Different strokes for different folks, whatever floats your boat, etc. It may take some adjusting and shifting to find the right fitting that feels the best for you. Now that you have your headset, let's break down each baseball VR hitting drill before we get started. When you look up in the baseball VR environment, you will see that each drill has its instruction interface. Anytime you feel lost or you need more context about the hitting drill you're doing, or you want to know a little bit more about the drill, about why it's important, simply look up, pause your training, and click on the instruction button with your headset. You'll also have your pitch count and your back to home buttons. Lastly, you can choose various pitches which we'll be adding to you throughout the year as well as in our quarterly updates at AppliedVisionBaseball.com. You can choose which side of the plate you're hitting from as well as various other settings available to explore in the settings option. So let's talk a little bit about the baseball VR training drills and what specific visual skill set we're trying to help you understand, train, and master. Animated environment, eye tracking drill. The goal here is to minimize head movement, quiet the stride as we load and separate the hands in our hitting stance. What's great about training in virtual reality with the headset on, if the head moves too much, you're able to really tell in a VR baseball environment. It becomes harder to pick up the pitch. Keeping the head quiet is a non-negotiable. It is imperative. Visual Acuity Drill. This drill is based on actual vision assessment tools called the Land.C. If you've ever taken a vision test, you've probably seen this shape. The goal here is to see in what direction the seat points towards. Track the ball all the way from the release point to point of contact, then make your decision. Pitch type and location drill, pretty self-explanatory here. Recognize balls and strikes as well as pitch types. Swing trigger drill, the earlier we can recognize a good pitch to hit, the better we will perform at the plate, period. The more efficient we can recognize the ball at release point, the more time we have to react to the plane of the pitch. In the swing trigger drill, you react on balls and strikes, pressing the trigger on strikes and not pressing the trigger on balls. When you pull the trigger, you will see your reaction time in milliseconds as well as where on the plane of the pitch you made the correct reaction. Now let's talk about the real environment. Letter gazing drill, similar to the land out visual acuity drill, just with some slight variations, you can choose the letter type and color to reinforce seeing the ball and tracking the ball for as long as possible. Pitch type and location drill, same as the animated version, we're just here to recognize pitch types and pitch spin, balls and strikes in and out of the zone. Color gazing drill. This is probably the easiest VR vision drill on the platform and a good place to start if you've never done baseball VR vision training before. It's like recognizing the spin except a tick bit easier. See the color and then react. 
Color memory reconjure our ability to recall pitch sequences and train our pattern recognition skills enhances our hitting IQ and ability to make adjustments in real time. Memorizing color sequences in a matter of milliseconds is a feat that is just as hard as recognizing spin speed and location at a high level. If you can do this consistently, you can recognize pitch types consistently. Baseball is a game and it's meant to be played. Imagine if you could simulate a month's worth of at-bats in a week or a week's worth of at-bats in a day. The goal here is simple, simulate and rehearse success so that when it's time to perform and execute in a real game, you will feel like you've already succeeded. I hope that makes sense. Have you ever tried baseball VR? What are some things you've been working on at the plate? If you could face any pitcher in VR, who would it be? Let me know down below. Be and stay a student of the game. Peace.